Hi everybody, how you doing? It is uh, Wednesday, March 18th. It's Sean here, and uh, I'm taking a little video in my basement where I'm finishing up a project that I started in the shop uh, a couple, about a week ago. Um, I thought I would show you all that it is possible to get things done at home uh, and finish projects at home. So uh, I have uh, assembled and been painting and working on this uh, coffee table because my coffee table is suddenly too big. I rearranged some furniture and I can't fit my old coffee table in the house very well. And so uh, I've made a smaller coffee table out of some scrap wood and I'm finishing up. Uh, I started using some water-based uh, finish on this table instead of using the oil-based finish that I was using in the shop, which is smelly and I uh, can't clean up the brush very well. So I thought I'd switch to some water-based finish. Uh, and this is good for using indoors uh, or in a basement. So if you're doing anything at home and you want a clear clear coat, this is good stuff to use. I'll show it to you here. I'll turn the camera around and show you. So um, here's the uh, polycrylic. It's a water-based clear finish. Um, I think it's just fine. Uh, you can layer up several coats. You can also um, buff it with, uh, with steel wool in between. Actually, I think you're supposed to use fine grit sandpaper and not steel wool because steel wool leaves behind a fine dust. Um, but I'm going to use this to finish my coffee table and a little box I've been making here. Some of you saw me working on this project. I'll show I'll back up and show you the coffee table. So um, here's the table I made. Um, there's a glass top that goes on the top of those three spokes, which I'll show you in a later video. Um, but this is all made out of scrap wood. Um, somebody donated these, these wooden arcs here, and so I made those into a hoop. And I used some old flooring to make this weird top. Um, I have some pieces underneath that I used to brace it with. Um, and I painted them funky colors. And you'll see when I show you in a later video what inside of my living room looks like. It all looks pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put a second coat, third coat actually, of polycrylic on here. Uh, something to know about polycrylic is you should never shake the can. You always want to just stir it. So I'm using an old shim here to stir it up. Um, it looks milky in the can and it looks milky on the brush and when you put it on it's going to have this weird milky look to it um, but it'll dry nice and clear. I put two coats on this already and you can see uh, it's clear and looks pretty good. So I thought I'd show you some progress and show you that it is possible to get things done even in a tiny basement when you're stuck at home. So just about finished my uh, third coat of polycrylic on my coffee table here and uh, I'm also doing a little box here so I'm going to show you what that looks like in a second. Um, lots of thin coats of it and you got to be careful to go back over and make sure that uh, you take care of any drips before they dry. Um, I'll show you what it looks like here. So there's the table with uh, the uh, third coat of polycrylic on it. Can't really tell. Maybe it's a little glossy there if you look close. Um, but it's clear, so you're not supposed to be able to see it. <laughs> um, but that should dry up nice. Um, like I said, you got to go around and look for spots. I see one right there. I just take care of that. There's some little globs right here. Take care of those. Um, they'll dry mostly clear, but they'll be a little gummy if I'm not careful. Um, here's a little box that I've been working on. I thought I'd show you real quick. Um, the trick with staining or using any kind of clear finish on wood is you always want to brush with the grain. You don't want to brush against the grain as much as you can. Um, an end grain doesn't matter, like the end of a board, but anytime you're doing something that has a grain, you want to brush along with the grain. And uh, I'll show you more in a, a later video of how this turned out. I'll put the glass top on the table and show you where it lands in my living room. So thanks for tuning in. Uh, stick, stick around. I'll, I'll show you more coming up in a later video.